guys, Novo Explosion. Welcome back to more Wild Arms 2. It's been a hot minute since I recorded, although none of this has hit YouTube yet, because similar to the first Wild Arms game, I'm waiting till I just have it done, and then I'll just upload it at my own leisure. But here we are. Uh, I got my characters to a good enough level. Uh, all we have to do is, uh, we only need, I think it's like seven more trophies for the platinum? Eight more trophies for the platinum. Seven not counting the platinum itself. Now, there are six ultimate weapons to get however you get those ultimate weapons from fighting the optional bosses i didn't realize that at the time but to get the best weapon for all the characters you have to fight some of these optional bosses and then there's a trophy for just defeating one of the sealed monsters is what they're called so we have we explored all the dungeons and we got all the guardians i want to go over a few things before i just go into the fights uh, with Tim, I was working on learning all the skills. I went out of my way to make sure Tim learned everything just because I was a grindaholic. And I was also working on the monster album a bit. So as you can see here, I have this a little bit filled out. But, um, I have this a little bit filled out. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to complete this for the playthrough. We'll see. I know you don't need to do it for the platinum, but part of me was like, you know what? I like bestiaries. Maybe I'll complete it. We'll see what happens, though. Maybe I'll get the best area complete, but at the very least, I'm going to beat all these bosses, or at least try them, and hopefully get a platinum trophy out of it. Um, I got my levels, like, mid to late 50s, as you can see here. But I believe we're just going to start tackling the optional bosses of the game. So, we're going to start with the one over in Helmets. So the town north of Silverland is this, is where this one is. I think Helmets, it might actually be... It might actually be, uh, what's it called? It might be the one in, like, the mine or something? Somewhere in Helmets? I'm not really sure where, to be honest. It just said Helmets town north of Silverland. I'm not exactly sure where, though, to be honest. But yeah, we're back. I don't know when you guys are seeing this. I don't even know if this is the final session. It might be. We might be able to beat all the optional bosses in a timely manner. We might not. We'll we'll see what happens. Play it by ear. Uh, uh, I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly where this optional boss is. I know it's in... Ah, oh, it's right here. Perfect. So I believe you have to use Maravel's My Mic ability on these. Is how you open them we saw a lot of these as the game was going on i love how this one's just in a town and we get to see these intro screens dude i'm playing wild arms 3 and i miss seeing these boss intro screens steel dragon of the bowels of the earth titanius all right well first optional boss here we go or not optional boss but first like super boss i guess you would call it uh, I have no idea if I'm prepped for this. This is more of like a test run to see like how prepared I am for these optional bosses. I probably should have went ahead and what's it called? I should have went ahead and uh recharged ammo. I wasn't even thinking. Uh, yeah, we'll try Valkyrie and then for you, let me actually, do I have high shield? I don't have high shield. I have regular shield, which works just as well. Hit him up with this. Plasma leader. Alright, did a lot. Didn't, like, kill or anything, but still a lot of damage. Dude, it's so nice to be back to Wild Arms 2. I did all this grinding stuff, like, a week or two ago. But the thing is, I have not touched Wild Arms 2 in a few weeks because I've been playing Wild Arms 3. I've been really busy. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and record myself attempting to fight these bosses, but I actually had this prepared for a while, like all the grinding, the monster album stuff, the skills with Tim. I just have not had a chance to sit down and prepare and record, basically. I'm trying to think. Let me actually look at Guardians. I probably want to switch this up a little because I was trying to learn Guardians with Tim. Sorcery's already at 800. I'm not really sure what else we can do here. Maybe like gear. I have new gear or something. Sends the cancel period but more. I don't really understand how canceling works. Uh, 2000 Skella on the one third probability. Meh. Oh, I do want to use a lucky card here. Absolutely. I'm probably going to have 
actually do it. Let me use a lucky card just so we can get more XP. By the way, I know a really good way to get lucky card, which I'll probably point out. Extend. Oh yeah, this is like what Gallows uses in Wild Arms 3. Nice. Let me actually... Wait, wait, wait. Tim. Oh, Valkyrie, what am I doing? Use first aid here. And for Lilka, I don't know what you're weak to, but let's let's try doing this. There's Plasma Leader yet again. It seems to always go first. For being a big turtle like this, it's very fast. And Ashley almost has Night Blazer charged up. When Night Blazer charges up, we'll get like big damage. lucky card here. Actually still can't go Night Blazer quite yet, but maybe soon. Probably like one more turn. First Aid healed me a lot, which is really nice. First Aid might honestly be based on something because it used to heal really low before. Let's try Tempest. And then High Freeze again. Begin regeneration. 4,000? Was that like all the damage I did to you? Really? Ba -ba, ba -ba, get wrecked. Oh, condition green. Let's go. Night blazer time. Oh, look at that 6,000. That's what we want to do with Tim. Uh, go Night Blazer. Wind is what we want to do here. I should have Wind with Loka as well. High Vortex. Barrier. By the way, I will continue to say it for as long as I live. Wild Arms 2 has some of the best boss designs in the PS1 era. I love the monster designs in this game. Alright, Loka did get a mad damage. Tim has more sorcery because of the Guardian. He has, but... Oh! Night Blazer OST, how I've missed you. Wild Arms 3 has had a great soundtrack, but... This is the best track in all of Wild Arms. No question. Just keep spinning win. This is working out really well. Curly and Buster? So far, so good. It's not, like, killing us, which is nice. I was a little worried I would go into the optional bosses and they'd have, like, a move that's like, Hey, insta-kill. We haven't been insta-killed. We haven't been killed at all. So, I mean, this is going well, all things considered. By the way, I'm going into this, like, relatively blind. I looked up a good enough level to be at and some of the personal skills to prioritize, and I put points into those. But other than that, I'm going into this blind. High combo. Bengalan summon attack might be good here, actually. I'm gonna try... Oh, wait, I can't? Wait, why? Oh, do you need a higher level guardian? Is that why? Oops. Gumblaze. Okay, I guess you need a higher level guardian. Interesting. Uh, dual cast high vortex. Begin regeneration. You're gonna just heal every few turns? What? You heal all your HP? Uh, okay. That's interesting. I was not expecting that. Alright chat, after doing some research, I uh, figured out that the way you're supposed to beat this thing is you have to beat it in a very specific way, which I'm not a fan of. Because it says here that he will always heal every three turns. He's gonna heal whatever damage you do. I saw 31k and I'm like, dude, there's gotta be some catch to this fight. And there is. What the heck is this? <laughs> so basically, the catch to this fight is he's like vulnerable to insta-death attacks. So there are three attacks in the game that have the status, Ashley's Dead or Alive Arm, Tim's Arcana 13 spell, or Maravel's Guillotine spell. I guess... Time is halted? Why? Why? <laughs> 
Why give me a turn then? I'm, I'm sorry, what? And time begins to move. Okay, this is a weird optional boss. Okay, so yeah. Apparently, you have to kill this thing with insta death, which I'm not a huge fan of. I'm gonna just have everyone use carrots on Tim. Mega Crusher? Oh no. Oh wow, you lived. I'm actually shocked you lived that. But yeah, so I guess you can already tell that I'm not a fan of this boss because it's like, hey, you gotta kill it a certain way. You gotta just use insta death. That that's just kinda like a little lame. If you don't actually fight it, you just use insta death. So I'm not a fan of that. I mean like what else are you gonna do? You should have Arcana 13. I don't think I have the guillotine spell from uh, Maribel. High heal? I don't have enough for high heal, which is unfortunate. Actually, no, Ashley. I'm gonna have you heal Loka. You might be faster. And then you can use... Keep giving Tim, or not Tim. Give Ashley this so we can go banish her and just get out of the... Uh... Oh no. That's gonna hurt. It's gonna work. Arcana 13. I'm gonna have to rewind if it kills him because I want Loka. Alright, it missed. So, revive fruit. I don't think I have. Yeah, he's regenerating again. But I wanna make sure Loka gets this. I used the lucky card and everything. Go oh, Arcana 13. I think I'm using the right thing, right? Or is it Antosex? It is Arcana 13, yeah. So it's like, it said it's a chance of killing him. It won't always kill him. I kind of wish I can have you go back. I wish Ashley would be back in um regular form because I can use Dead or Alive to increase the chance. Kind of building up force to hope that happens. Let's see how long this takes. There we go. I think I got him. So very lame that you have to just use an instant death attack. I guess after a while, the game just somehow expects you to know, like, oh, killing him is worthless. Kind of lame that, oh my word, that XP. Yo, no pushover. I can't see what level that is. Defeat a sealed monster. Yeah, so one of the trophies was simply defeat a sealed monster. And there's a trophy for each weapon. And that's all the trophies we need. You don't need to fight Ragu Ragula or Angle Moa in this playthrough or in this game to get the Platinum Trophy. However, I'm still going to attempt them at the very least. If I beat them, we'll see. I'm going to attempt them at the very least, though. There it is, the Shooting Star, best weapon for Ashley. So yeah, that one, uh, a little lame that you have to just kill it with an insta-kill, but it'd be that way. Uh, the next one we can fight is in Holst. Closed mine shaft. I think I remember this one. I should actually save. Well, I mean, we could save in holes. By the way, we're gonna use lucky cards on all of these fights. I might need to go. Actually, you know what? I can show you guys how to get more lucky cards while I get more right now. Uh, which enemy was it? I forgot what enemy it was. I think I'd start with an A or B. I wish I can sort this by items. That's Duplicator. We already talked about getting Duplicators. There's an enemy for lucky cards. Oh, I know where it is. I don't need the enemy. I believe it's the bridge. This area right here between Green Hell and the bridge. I need to also make sure that Ashley has the right Guardian. Bengalin, perfect. Let's just see if I can get the enemy to proc. Hopefully I can. Yeah, this is the enemy right here, Melchiom. I should only need one more lucky card because I have five. Or no, I used one, right? So I have four now. 
and we're fighting five more optional bosses, so I'm gonna need more. Oh, get wrecked. Yellow crazy. Yeah, that super boss went well. I mean, I kind of hate that you have to kill minions to kill, but it went well. Oh, my word. Wait, go back, go back. Oh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. I think this is still the same. It's not going to necessarily reset. Yeah. So I would need to go back here. Maybe now it's set to be different. Oh, I didn't want you to do that. Wait, wait, wait. Big pocket. Please, Ashley. Can you even do this? Is this like something you can do? Well, I mean, this is still good because then the Malkyum is still alive. All right, well. I'm just gonna wait a turn. Maybe if I try it again, I'll get it. Just get a little crazy again. Oh my word, stop killing yourself. I doubt this is gonna work. I don't think this is how rewind can be. Rewind can't be manipulated like this. Oh no, it can, nice. All right. Now I know, <laughs> if I need to grind more lucky cards. We should be good now because we're, we fought one, right? I think I did my math wrong. We fought one optional boss, now we need five more. So I don't think I need to get more lucky cards. I'll get my lucky cards if I want to fight Angle Moa and Dragon Regula or something, but I don't know if I'm going to do them today. It highly depends on how much time we have, or how much, how long, I guess I should say. Yeah, five lucky cards, that should be plenty. That's exactly enough. So now, take me to Holst. To find this other optional boss. But yeah, it highly depends on how long these bosses take and how I'm feeling. I mean, ideally, if I use a lucky card in every one of them, I should be, like, maybe over level 60. Maybe around level 60 at the very least. I'm going to very smartly heal up and save after that boss. Although it wasn't hard, it was just, hey, spam insta-kill and hope it dies. Kind of lame. That's a waste of a super boss in my opinion. As long as they're not all like that, then I'll let it slide. I guess that's like a gimme for Ashley's ultimate weapon maybe, I don't know. So, I think I know where this one is. I remember seeing this one. This might have been the first one we encountered. I was shocked when one was in Helmets because I was like, dude, I did not see a prism there. But this one, I'm pretty sure, was the first one we've encountered. Please, game, don't give me any encounters or make them skippable. I'm playing Wild Arms 3 right now, and in that game, you have limited encounter skips. I'm really glad to be back to 2 and have infinite encounter skips. Although, I think 3 does it fine, but they have, like, migrant seals to increase uh, the amount that goes down, or reduce it, rather. But, I mean, I'm glad to be back with 2. I hope I'm going the right way. Wait, wait, wait. On the island that has the town host. Oh, it's on the island that has the town host. This is all go mine shaft. I'm very wrong. This isn't the right mine shaft. It doesn't help that there's two mine shafts. Nope. Up, up, um. This way, this way. Go, Tim, go. And Tim's doing a little zigzag. I like it. It's on the island where Holst is. I don't think it's in Holst itself. By the way, I have no idea how to get Apocalypse. This spell, I've been trying to figure out how to get it. I've been switching around all the Guardians, and this number does not want to move. And I got every single spell. At first I thought, oh, maybe you need all the spells, then Apocalypse can be unlocked, but... I tried fighting with the required guardian. I cannot figure out which guardian it is, so... I don't know if I'll get that spell in the playthrough. Maybe I'll get it for Ragu or Angle Moa, but... 
I just cannot figure it out. Island where Holst is. So somewhere around here should be the mine shaft. Maybe this? The live reflector. That's Silverland, isn't it? Oh no, that's not Silverland. This should be a dungeon. Dark Reason. Dark Reason? Oh right, that's the uh the, the dungeon where we got the Dark Guardian. Yeah, it makes sense. That's a town. Where is this mine shaft? It says it's in the island linked to Holst. Maybe one of these takes me there? Green Forest, Sacred Forest. Oh, you know what? Let's do, uh, this is Brad's weapon. Let's do another boss. I'll, cu I'll, I'll have to do it because I need the Platinum and I want to fight all the bosses. But we can save it for later. Meteorite Crater, we can get Lilka's, and also Tim's, which is the Wind Tiger Den. 